hello friends so in this video we will learn about how to joining an array to what is join an array to joining means i will just write it joining means adding content or elements of two or more array and array can be and array can be one dimension one dimension i will just write one dimension or multiple dimension so it is basically for adding content of two or more array so joining means like we are adding content of two or more array so how to join an array so we will go here and just do it so we will are in our jupyter notebook screen so first of all we have to create an array and before that we have to uh, import the library of numpy to import the library of numpy i will write import numpy as np so it will import the library of numpy then i will create an array so i will give it a name array1 equal to np dot array is the command which is used to create an array so i will just put some values here and one thing should be noted like the element and the content in the array should be same in both the arrays only then it will join them so if it have six element the next array also have a six element so i will just put it here only in the last enter i will create another array and p dot array and here i will give values like 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so we have created a two array now i will print them so that we can see what is inside them array 1 and i will just copy this again and array 2 so we have created two array array 1 and array 2 and we will run them so we have values from these two arrays whatever values these have they will give the values of these array now we have to join them and to join them what we will do we will use a function we will create first of all a variable i will give it a name join one arr join one equal to then i will give np dot concatenate so concatenate is the function which is used to uh, add two arrays together so i will put for concatenate then i will put here a r r a y array one array underscore one comma array underscore two then i will give print uh, it shows some problems so we have to see where is the problem here concatenate np dot concatenate okay we haven't closed it so we have to close it here then i will give the function print and here i will put this name and run it so it add both the arrays so in this way we can create or join a single dimensional array so it is basically a one dimensional array now in the case of uh, two dimensional array there how we can do that so for that what i will do i will just copy this and make them to two dimensional array so i will just give it a name three and here i will give it a name four and i will made it a two dimensional array so i will close this here then i will open this then i will close this open and then i will close this so this is our first one similarly i will 
create this also our two dimensional array so i will just close this again so now i have to so i just copy print them so that we can see their output so i will go down and here i will print array 3 and here i will put array 4 and in between i will give some print so that we can see uh, i will just print it blank so that we can have a, some space between them so here is the problem closing parenthesis doesn't matter doesn't match because we don't close it here so i will close it here and then i will run this so now we have a two dimensional array here so first of all we have created a single dimensional array now we have created a multiple dimension array and the thing with this is like when we will use our multiple dimensional array it can be according to our axis like it can be either to through our a column wise or your second is here row wise so axis should be taken when we will create multiple dimensional array so like in two dimensional array what we will do i will create again an another array array i will give join two name whatever name you like to give you can give and here i will take concatenate again np dot concatenate net so spelling should be keep in mind and then i will give the name of my two arrays which are array 1 this is our array 3 and then i will give the name of my next array and here i will give one more thing which is your axis i will give here axis and here i will give equal to 0 and then i will print this our new join array i will put enter here and here i will put this inside this and just run this so it joined our both arrays this axis 0 then i will put one here and then see so it will according to rows this way it will according to rows and if we will go like this it will go according to our columns so it is joining our two dimensional array in two ways so we have a put axis here and if we will remove this and then we will run it will still run so by default it is taking it axis 1 so this is the thing here next is like if we want to like there are other some other formulas also for joining these array and these formulas are your stack like stack v stack h stack so i will just put down here stack and then i will just increase the size also and i will add some cell cell now so if we, we can even use a stack for so i will just copy this again like we have two these array i will just make them a new one i will give them name 5 and here i will give 6 and then then i will run them and i will print them first first of all i what i will do i will print them and here i will give 5 and here i will give 6 and just run them so we have this arrays here and now we will use another uh, function which is stack function so i will give a name first of all a r r and i will give join uh, i will give here 3 the 4 i will give whatever join 4 and here i will write np dot stack and here i give the name of our arrays and that is basically our array 5 and array 6 so i will give array 
and then I will give here array 6 and now I will copy them so I, so that I can show you other formulas of stack so another one is our your v stack so v stack is basically for columns so I will put columns so you will get result column wise and uh, another one is your I will just copy this and put it here and that is basically v stack then I will come your h stack that is for rows so you will get the result rows wise and the last one is your d stack that is according to your height so these are formula with which we can join our arrays these are h e i g s t height and now i will run them and print first of all i will print them i will put print here and here i will write some new things like here i will write 5 so i will just change the name 6 and then i will give 7 now i will print first of all stack join 4 as stack and just copy this so that you can get the result and here i will type 5 here i will type 6 and here i will type 7 and beside that i will give some space here first is our print then i will copy this again i will give space and here i will give space now i will run them so now we have joined our arrays like first of all is through stack in stacks we can give access also like i will give access is equal to zero and then we can run them and then i will print them here so we have like access wise we can use stack and beside that v stack we can use our column wise so it will join our with column wise like this way and third one is our height wise row wise so we will use h stack so h stack is for our a row wise so like third one so this one is one one first second third so first second and this one is third one so this is basically our row wise and the fourth one is our height wise so this one is our height wise the last one is our height wise so according to dash these can be joined together so there are multiple ways we can join our uh, you can say our uh, like this our arrays so that's all from this side. Thank you very much for watching video.